Hey, and welcome back. Doing another show. This time we're, we're switching speeds a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna slow things down a little bit and go on to laser discs. If you saw my overview video, I touched on a lot of my collections: Blu-ray, DVD, laser disc, video games, consoles, stuff like that. Well, being that we ran out of Blu-ray and DVD, we'll uh, step it down to laser disc. And this is the old, the old horror sci-fi laserdisc collection. Um, I'm not going to argue with anyone that laserdiscs are better than Blu-ray or DVD because obviously they're not. But they definitely have a cool factor that those medias don't, and that's their artwork on the. It's basically their covers. Their covers are just badass. You could frame them, throw them on your wall. Um, and just make art out so, of it. So yeah, I mean, here's four quick examples of what I chose to do with four of my laser discs. And I got another laser disc up there, the Halloween. Yeah, so anyway, back to collecting. Um, they're not as cheap as you'd hope. Well, horrors are, horror laser discs sometimes can get pretty expensive. Um, your love me Nintendo sweet movies, yeah, those are like a dime a dozen. But like your '80s horror films, slasher type bucks, ten to thirty bucks. I don't know. Those are the ones I like, unfortunately, because those are hard to find and expensive. So let's get on with this um, collection. Right, so first up in the sci-fi horror, 2001: A Space Odyssey. And it's a gatefold. No, it's not a gatefold. Gatefolds when they open up. You gotta love those. Those are cool. Never mind, I thought it was a gatefold. It's not. Now we got 2010. Uh, 2010. Now, 2001, I saw it. You, you gotta be awake for these films. I'm not saying you're gonna like them. I'm just saying be awake for them. Um, and you, even then, you probably won't understand it, because I sure as heck didn't. Um, Alien. Awesome movie. This is a great one to frame. This is a good one to frame. Someday, this, is, this baby's going to be in a frame. Original Alien. Probably one of the best. Arguably one of the at least top five sci-fi films of all time. Aliens. Some might say this is top five, too. This is a this is a gatefold. Oh man, I'd, lo I'd love to open this gatefold for you guys, but I'm not. It take too long to open all the gatefolds. Take them out of these protective covers. Alien Three started going downhill big time. Woo, dropped off. But Alien Three did not drop off as far as a Resurrection did. This Resurrection still has cellophane, original cellophane on it. Uh, I, actually, I prefer my laser disc to be a little bit older. Uh, in well, no, I like stuff like this. Altered states. I did laser disc. This is a kind of an old film. This is well, this is back released around Alien time, I think. This movie's all right, but I definitely don't like a newer film. When I say newer, I mean like '90s, like a Jurassic Park. You just don't don't even bother getting that. On laser disc, that's that's something you can just go right straight to Blu-ray. Arena. I have no idea what this film is. I'm gonna check it out. It looks stupid as hell, but it was a Goodwill. And this is this is the type of crap you want on laser disc. Really obscure stuff. That's 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 a perfect laser disc example. Angel Heart. Uh, we've talked about this one on DVD. Twist. Twist at the end, folks. Twist at the end. But no spoilers. Um, Army of Darkness. I think this is part of the Evil Dead series. If I'm not. But uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I cared for this one too much. All right, here we go. Berserk. Don't know anything about this. Picked it up. But this looks like a good... Laser disc, um, screaming out. 
you know, kind of an older flick. You know, I like to watch an older movie on an older format, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, coming up, Blade Runner. This is a gatefold. God, I'd wish, I, I love to open this sucker up. But, you know, taking them out of these protective covers would kill me. If I had like 100,000 viewers, maybe, once I get 100,000 viewers and maybe 10,000 subs, I'll take them out. So chances are they ain't coming out, folks. The Borrower. Again, don't know jack about this film. It looks like it's screaming laser disc all over it. You know, shh. This is something you want on laser disc. Probably not even on DVD. That's it. That's what you want. You want the ones that aren't on DVD or Blu-ray. That's probably one of them. <clears throat> possibly, possibly even this one, because I've never heard of this. A Boyne's Dog. Now, Boyne's Dog, don't know Jack, except for it stars a young Don Johnson. Kid looks like Bobby Brady. Candyman. I remember seeing this one in the drive-in, folks. This is probably a good laser disc film. Alright, now coming up. This is another perfect laser disc example. Castle Freak. Don't know what it is, but I had to get it when I saw it. See, most of these I got like four bucks. Except for the ones at Goodwill. Goodwill's Given to you for a buck. Um, let's see, here we go. Criterion, the cat people. Never saw it. God, I got a lot of these I gotta see. Look at all the info they give you on about the movie on the back. That's another thing you gotta love. You gotta love when they just talk about the film on the back. You know, I was kind of teasing you guys earlier. If there's any of these gatefolds someone's interested in, I'd be I'd love to open like open it up and show. But just to, any any one of the laser just collection understands. You just can't take them all out of the covers um, and show them. This is like a trifold. Close Encounters. This is like three discs. For those that. Look at all the writing. You gotta love it. For those of you who have laser or don't have laser discs, each disc has a side. So unless you have a newer player, you're gonna be flipping these babies. Mine has a, mine flips them, so you don't have to get up in the middle of the movie and flip it. Oh, Dawn of the Dead! You knew I had this one on laser disc. Oh yeah, haven't seen it on laser disc. But I got it on laser disc, and this is a, this is a gatefold. This is a prime drawer. I got like a box set of laser Dawn of the Dead too. Oh yeah. Oh beautiful, beautiful. See these two, Day of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead. These are in pretty good shape, and they're gatefolds. I think I might have paid like ten bucks for them. Well worth it. Oh, here's another one that screams laser disc. See, crap like this. Dead Alive. I think I saw this one a long time ago. Don't remember it. Not even sure if I liked it. But I think this was like four or five bucks. And you don't buy them all at once, folks. It's kind of like uh, baseball cards, you know? You go and get some and you look for certain ones. and um, Deadly Friends. I don't know what the heck that is. No, Deadly Dreams. Shit, I can't read... Oh yeah, it looks perfect, cheesy, 80s cheese. That's what you gotta love. All right, coming up. Oh yeah, classic. Come on, Dracula. Who doesn't love the original Dracula? Cause I sure do. Oh yeah. Oh, haven't seen this one. 20 years, Dressed to Kill. Little Angie Dickinson, remember when she was, uh, she was up there, huh? 
Whoa! We got this we got sliding around. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't see this. Some of these you really got to be in the mood for. Earth versus the flying saucers. This is the type of stuff you want to get on Laserdisc. And... I mean, it must have been somewhat good. Look at all this stuff they have a lot of write about. We got some double features, folks. Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. What's that? Fall House of Usher and Pitt and the Pendulum. Gateful, nonetheless. Oh, superb. We got another Poe coming up too. Oh, we got three. Two, we got we got a bunch of Poe. The premature burial. And Tales of Ter Ooh, Tales of Terror. I think that's supposed to be a good one. That's a lot to write about about those films. And The Raven? The Mask of the Red Death. I believe that's Vincent Price. Whoa. All right, well... I'm gonna wrap this up right now for uh, part one of this. We're gonna have to do this in multiples. I got a lot of laser discs, folks. Um, so we're gonna wrap this up right here and we'll catch you back in the next part, man. Thanks, catch you later, bye.